Hi, and welcome back to Not News. Today we'll be discussing the surprising history of the globally renowned insult snowflake. Why now? Somehow this word is still relevant. But like a snake eating its ass, one thing that really confuses me is when triggered people exhaust themselves telling other triggered snowflakes to stop exhausting themselves being triggered. Who is the actual snowflake in a world of trigger twos living in Wokemon? And how did this ridiculously cute yet equally brutal insult come to be? Snowflake was the defining politicised insult of 2016. Self-delusional, coddled, easily offended, lefty millennials copped it the most. And then eventually any crybaby who didn't fit the mould of a tough conservative with a fear of words and people whose opinion differed from theirs. I mean, quite honest with you, f your feelings. I mean, come on, exhibit A. Look how red this dude's face is. We're all laughing at this person over here, but... Snowflakes! melt under pressure. It's about somebody who wants to sit around and whine and moan and complain about everything instead of actually shutting up and getting the job done. Trump launched a website in 2019 called snowflakevictory.com to give guidance to Trump supporters about how to deal with their liberal relatives over the holiday period. I don't know, brah, but it sounds a lot like you tried to create a safe space right there. So, all of this, and then some, prompted me to research the etymology of the word to try and untwist this cluster f**k. You are not a beautiful or unique snowflake. The Fight Club film made the snowflake insult popular in the modern world, but before that, and here is the huge reveal, it was a term used over a century earlier against pro-slavery racists in the 1860s during the Civil War in Missouri. Yep. Enslavers who opposed the abolition of slavery were the first snowflakes. They were called snowflakes because, according to Emily Webster, they valued white people over black people. And the charcoals were the progressives, those who fought for emancipation and who also pushed for black people to be able to enlist in the armed forces. Snowflake did make a comeback in the 1970s, but it was used as an insult to black and white people if they acted too white aka were a Karen. There is actually also a rumour that the word snowflake was used by Nazi soldiers to disturbingly describe the ashes of their victims. But to this day, there is no record of it, even by the US Holocaust Memorial Museums. So lefties watching this might be thinking, sucked in conservatives, it was our word against you first. But ultimately, does eye for an eye mentality ever work with these online wars? Ever? I think this quote sums it up perfectly. I think deep down, everybody is a snowflake. Everybody is special and a bit sensitive to being insulted or mocked or defeated. Look, needless to say, a lot of other words in the world have taken on new meanings, but no other word has truly been politicized quite as much as snowflake. Marxist, judgmental pieces of you can't tell us how to live this America. Great Britain has now become snowflake central. Someone really get like him a apologize. vegan sausage roll to calm down. Attack, troll, mock, bully, and then indignantly complain other people are being sarcastic or bullying him. What happened to freedom? Okay, they're weird, angry, violent snowflakes, but still snowflakes. And those who use it against people are often those who are self-proclaimed historians who only seek the truth. So here it is. I reckon that if we were to amass all of the energy in these circle jerk conversations that get absolutely nobody anywhere, we could maybe put out the fire in the ocean or, I don't know, become the politicians that we complain about not having. So what do you do if you get caught a snowflake today? Maybe start off with explaining the irony behind the word. You might say, well, Tan, aren't you being a bit of a hypocrite making this video all about something you're telling everyone not to care about? That's kind of the whole point too. We're all human. All right, peace.